10.30 a.m. and we have in front of us the Veterans Services Commission. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Who would like to uh, present the budget for us uh, among your group? I guess that would be me. Okay, good morning. I think a teacher probably come over here. Okay. And, uh, that way you can kind of look at all. Oh, I'm officially retired. Yes. Was that effective January 1 or? December 31st. December 31st, okay. Still in the area, or did he go south or someplace else? He's still oh. in the area. Okay, so he's freezing today, also. Yeah, <laughs> okay. like everybody else. That's comforting. He's probably having a warm cigar somewhere, though, <laughs> in a warm area. I guess good morning. How are you? Okay. Glad to see you all made it out today. Obviously. And so, okay, so you so you've been on the job now as executive director than just since the first. That's correct. Okay. Very good. And how is it? I'm still learning. Okay. okay. What, what we've done this morning, by the way, is, and again, we have this budget document, which I guess is the same document that you have in front of us. And I guess I need to ask you to do, if you can, just kind of take us through this portion of it, and then we'll look through the, the monetary and the personnel side of it and so forth, to kind of tell us this, you know, the, the, oh, as far as the big issues that are happening for you this as year. As far as statement on the front, okay. Um, of course, we have, as you are aware, Mr. Toth just retired. We also had terminated another employee. So that's why we have down that we are looking at hiring two people. Um, our, our major our two people trend, would be the one to retire. Of course, you're moving up, so it would be to replace be your position. Up, yes, yes. The and then to replace the person that, that, the that, was, that was terminated. Right. Okay. And, and the major thing, I guess, driving driving our budget is the fact that we are seeing more and more veterans on the relief side. Okay. And um, I noted on here that uh, in 2010, you know, we had 2,984 people financial assistance. 2011, it went up to 32,38. 2012 was 47,25. And the final number for 2013 is 6,597. Uh, wait a minute. Because that number we have on here was the November number, not the December okay, number. Okay, so I'm sorry, what number is that? 6,597 okay. was the final number for 2013. And, and can you tell us, uh, by the way, do you prepare like a, an annual report in any way, shape, or form? Is that published someplace? Yes, we, we, we have uh, reports that we go over every month in our okay. meetings upstairs that are, of course, available to the public. Um, but you don't do a report at the end of the year? That have to get kind of well, yeah, I mean, it, it does. I don't have that with me, but I mean, okay. yeah, it does show show that. And, and I, I looked at that and I wanted to see, you know, of course, we knew we were going to be getting more veterans from OEF, you know, Iraq and Afghanistan, basically. But uh, the increases are like in Vietnam, peacetime, Gulf War, and the Iraq and Afghanistan veterans. It's, it's across the board as far as those uh, meeting relief. So when you have 6,500, again, I'm just trying to understand you know, what you do because I really don't know. Uh, six or hundred people. What, what are the different benefits that people get? What's the primary benefit that you're helping? Oh, well, basically, you know, we offer temporary financial help. Okay. Um, and uh, we do a budget, look at their income and their expenses, mm -hmm. and if their expenses basically exceed their income, then we are able to help them for that difference. And we can do the basic living necessities such as food, housing, utilities. So that could be how much. What would be a maximum, uh, for example, that a veteran could get? It, it's gone very from, 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 from case time. to case. I mean, you know, it, we also help in emergency situations. If a guy has an eviction notice or something like this, um, we can make a mortgage payment, you know, to help him keep his home, things like that. And, and that could be a, a fairly decent amount of money. Um, on a one-time emergency basis, I mean. Can you make like more than, for example, one one month's worth of mortgage payments? Could you make multiple months of mortgage payments? I'm just. No. Oh. Try to understand the benefits that, that are available. Yeah, well, we, we look at it month by month, and we look at that month's expenses. <coughs> but if it was going to take so much to keep them in the home, yes, we could pay more than what the one month's payment would be. Okay. Yeah, it's month by month. They don't get two months in one month. Right. I mean, we, we don't pay no, last month's mortgage, month. or mortgage payment. But if I'm a veteran and but, I have a difficult time making my mortgage payments because my expenses are greater than my income and so forth, I could right. come to you and receive yes. a payment in 
you know, J July and get a, get one again also if I'm eligible in August. So you right. would continue to look, look at that's, each that's one. That's correct. We look as an eligibility. It's a month by month basis. Period. There's a maximum usually of six months. Maximum of six months. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry, go ahead. So, okay, so, so yeah. there's a maximum of six months. Six months, because this is supposed to be temporary help. By right? state law, this is supposed to be temporary help. It's not a welfare program. Okay. So maximum six months for any of those categories, emergency right. or food and utility. you have year-end numbers from what the final dollar amount ended up being for assistance for that big number? We would have, but I don't have those numbers with me. And the money that is paid out, then what is the source of the funds that is actually used to pay the veterans the money? Uh, we, we issue vouchers. Uh -huh. We do not issue any cash. Uh -huh. So the vouchers go to a grocery store if it's for groceries. Or they, or they go to a landlord that is, is for rent, mm -hmm. or to a utility company that is for a utility job. So we issue vouchers to those agencies. Okay. No cash. Do, do you receive any like allocations from like the, the federal yeah, government or the state government that assists in, in paying these benefits or not? No. 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 So there's no county 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 funds. Okay. Yeah. Like, for example, the job and family services, of course, they process a lot of payments, but in many cases, they're actually just a, a pass-through agency and they're processing money that they receive from the federal government to pay for well, the, the, the different other, programs. The other so thing we do, do, whether you have any of that kind of money or well, not. Well, the main other thing we do is we help veterans apply for benefits from VA. Okay. Okay, so we bring that money into the county by helping those veterans apply for VA benefits. In fact, we bring more money back into the county than it costs to operate our agency just by our work through the VA. But, you, but, but again, my question is, you, so you these no outside source of revenues that, that, that are right. used to, to pay well, this is the only source. Okay, these are all in, internal to your budget. Right. Okay. And by the way, do you have those kinds of statistics on how much money that you help process and, and collect through the people that you assist? Yes. It, I mean, again, I don't need that today, by the I, way. But again, wasn't that over, like over $3 million, I think? Yes, three, over $3 million last year that our agency helped bring into this county. Okay. <clears throat> General understanding questions for me. Okay, why don't you just take us through? Uh, let's see. Your request. And again, I'm now looking on the second page. If you want to take us through the second okay. page. Yeah. Personal services and salaries. And, um, Appointed officials, that's our board. Okay, the request for $2,014 and $37,000, that's for our board members. Okay. They're appointed by the judges. Then uh, on 61300 there, personal services are regular full time. Okay. That's $260,000. That, that covers our people that do the relief, and there are receptionists. And I think uh, the two vacancies are in that number also. The next down the list, you have, you know, that that's just the benefits. Of course, that's based on the numbers above. Chris, I guess I have a question for you. Just thought, you know, so the second column, of course, or the second grouping is the 6200s or the benefits. Right. So we have salaries of 297. Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay. And we have benefits of 255. Correct. Why is that such a high ratio compared to? Um, what I'm, my guess is, uh, if you look down below okay. at the administration department, there's another 242000 at the bottom of your page. Okay. There's another $242,000 of additional salary expense. Yeah, there are different all categories. The, okay. All the, but all the benefits are listed up above. Got it. Okay. Okay. Just trying to make sense of that one. Give you that sure. Point. The opposite that it's too high. Okay. So now we're down to 6,300 supplies and materials. Mm -hmm. That's essentially safe the same. Purchase services has dropped a little bit. 
What are your primary purchase services? Uh, Wilson Hall is 32000 um, Which is? We pay for two beds, for the service of two beds for veterans to be in the Wilson Hall program if, if the courts assigned uh, a veteran to be over there for, uh, for help, for treatment, yeah. Um, so that's 32000 Um We have a SARTA bus wrap that we pay for. That's around 16000 How's that going? It's going pretty good, although I've understood that they may retire that bus. So we'd have to start over. So that's a SARTA of wrap. Sort of One line item is the contract come out. Is it 64000 services too? Oh. 64000 um, And uh, our, our transportation program, we've signed on with SARTA to do our bus. That's, uh, that's 72000 that yeah. Yes, right. that's 72000 for, for that. It's going very well. Yeah, yes. It's going great. Is it? Yes. Was that, and this is just since I've just joined the county this year, is that why the purchase services jumped in 13 was the starter program? Yes. Okay. And we're able to service more veterans, they have better service, and plus we can take people on wheelchairs on the starter buses, which we couldn't handle in our vans. And Wilson Hall is with uh, Quest, is that right? Yes. Okay. Do you have any expenses to help the Veterans Court and the Court of Common Pleas? Do you do anything to assist them? Through the Court of Common Pleas? Yes, yeah, I think uh, we do the, he start that program. Yeah, the Otter Court. court. Yes. Honor court. The honor do you court. help and do you help fund that? No. Or do you, is there a reason why you don't do that? Um I I think it's because they've never asked us, I believe. Um I don't know in what way we would help that way, but no, um, we do have, um, Tim Corby was helping with the mentor part of it. Okay. And uh, he was active in the, when he started it. And he, he, you're using a package? No, because that's not shown in the 2013. Mm -hmm. <coughs> you see what I'm saying? Not so much. Okay. <laughs> I'm looking at 14. Okay. Are you comparing the two? I what I'm uh, what I'm looking at is in the bottom of the 2014 number, okay. which does include the filling of the two vacancies. Yes. Uh, it shows that the annual salary expense is going to be around four hundred ninety-six thousand dollars. That's the total they're calling. Yeah. In yeah. The budget mm -hmm. documents itself, the two salary lines add up to five thirty-nine. So there's an extra. Yeah. Forty thousand heavier the actual budget document there meant my question was is that meant to reflect the increases for Mr. Ingus yes, or yes, yes. <coughs> so I guess my question would have been should that have been in here so then the two numbers went together. Yes. Again, I'm not I'm not trying to be difficult. But you know every year we go back and forth about this and then we look like the baddies because we challenge or ask of the Veterans Service Commission, again, who I have the highest respect for. But ladies and gentlemen, wouldn't it be easier to be very transparent? Again, it is taxpayers' dollars. Just as we wrestle with the sheriff issue, or we wrestle with the issue at Multi County Attention Center, or we wrestle with our own employees that want more money, isn't it easier to be transparent and lay it out before us, then I feel like I'm pulling teeth. I mean, I feel like you come in and I have to like beg you to give me the information. We want you to help our veterans. There are 45,000 living veterans in this county. My husband is one of them. I want my veterans helped. Good. But please help me to understand why we have to pull teeth every time you come in here. That's all I want to know. I just, I, I just always feel there's just this conflict between us, and I know that it has not always been a smooth ride for us, but we let us want, help you. We I don't mean, want this to be a conflict. This should be. So then why can't we get, I, I'm, I got, maybe I'm, okay, I must be the odd one here, so. No. Well, you are the odd one here. <laughs> I'll, I'll, 
I, I guess, you know, I, I, I think <coughs> the two board members that are here, do you understand, you know, again, I mean, you're board members and you have the responsibility, of course, of establishing the budget for your office. We have the responsibility yeah. for doing it for all the county offices and departments and so forth. Um, so again, what we're seeking is, you know, numbers that, you know, truly reflect your operations. And these are numbers that you need to have also. You know, when we see some of these documents, not that they're, you know, way off, most of the numbers are accurate, but when we see the numbers, for example, from Mr. Ickes and Mr. Corby going into 2014, you know, they're, they're not represented, you know, correctly. And these are numbers that you need to have in order to make your decisions and that we also need to have in order to make, you know, you know our decisions and understand this and so forth. So again, actually, I'm addressing it to the board members because, again, ultimately, it's your responsibility. It's not Mr. Ickes' responsibility. He works for you. Diane works for you, just the same as that they work for us. We're only the ones with the responsibility. You are only the ones with the responsibility, you know, at the commission level and the, for the Veterans Services Commission. So we'd ask you to take a much closer look at, at, at these things, you know, when you bring them to us and when you, you know, when you make reports and so forth. Um, again, getting back, I guess, to the to the annual report. Uh, and maybe you can send something to Brant to show me what you show, what you see monthly and so forth. But I think it'd probably be beneficial for everybody to understand, and again, you know, we have a, the media covering, that really the scope of all the services that you do provide. And I don't know, again, whether there's, you know, that kind of a report that is provided that somebody in <coughs> the repository or, or uh, uh, someone, you know, on, you know, on the inter internet uh, report <coughs> so forth, can look at and show to people and say this is the, the value of the services that we get from the Veteran Services Commission, for sure. So that type of thing is, you know, very, well, very important. This is a report right here that shows, you know, exactly what we spent to each of those categories. Okay. You know, each month, you know, for utilities, food, shelter, clothing. Do you have copies of yeah, those for us? Or we can get you copies. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, is it, yeah. It's, I mean, it's a document that we're interested in seeing, and that's why I was asking you the question. And then you have a report in your hands. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, he, he went up here. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. This is the kind of thing I was asking yeah. before that. Right. And, we know, have and I don't know whether okay. it exists or it doesn't exist until you. This is what we go over at each monthly board meeting. Mm -hmm. And that's a public record. Yeah. Okay. send you some annual reports by the way really I think it would be really helpful for your organization in, in association you know with the public's understanding of what you do by the way to produce something like that and again we you know we get annual reports by you know, from the engineer from the from the courts from the municipal courts and so forth and we could send you some of those and again it doesn't have to be a complex document or something but if you lay out you know uh, regional planning does it for example you know so every year you have an annual report that says hey we help this many people in this many ways and so forth and so on and it's, and it's you know right. it's just it's good business probably after you do the first one by the way then of course you know the next year you just you can supplement it but you keep you know filling in the blanks and so some of the judges attended our last right. board meeting and uh, you know they were interested in seeing that too yeah. so we okay. provide a copy to them this is good stuff that you need to think about doing if you haven't done it in the past it's a good thing to do you know in the future yeah we always we always make an effort to try to let people know what we're doing you know? okay sometimes it's hard to get the word out how often does your board meet once a month and is that a set day yes and when is that the next meeting is tomorrow second 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 wednesday usually second wednesday and is that at what time? 1.30. Okay. And do you still close every day at noon from 12 to 1? Yes. Is there, a, is there a philosophy behind that? 
why, why you wouldn't be open from 12 to 1 at least with someone there that if I was a veteran and I came downtown maybe from Tuscarawas Township and I made the effort to drive down that I would have to wait I mean other offices do stay open in the county I just wondered if that is something the board has ever considered I think it's important that you're open at lunchtime I guess I don't know if you're aware, but I don't, know any, I don't know of any other office or department, by the way, that closes for lunch in, you know, county government, government or, or, city or, government. or city government or otherwise, by the way. I'm not aware of anybody that does it. So it's kind of a unique, you know, it's a unique thing. I mean, you just all you need to do is probably just stagger, again, depending on how many people are in the you office, on any given time, you stagger, you stagger your lunch, like you stagger your lunch yeah. hours. So you're telling me he's not doing that anymore? No, we're still assisting. But you do not give any funds towards that family no. or that veterans court. No. Yeah. Would you? I would. <laughs> well, we're, we're, uh, first, we, oh, yeah. first question would be can we? Absolutely. I don't know. Okay. If we yeah, can. That would be the first question. I work with the veterans court when they send people out to do repairs. They, uh, I've done it a couple, three times now. They uh, will send, the, they, I'm not sure what their terminology is for it, but it's a give back that the uh, people going through the court do. Mm -hmm. uh, and if we were allowed, uh, you know, by law to donate, I, I think we would. Uh, since all of us on the board are vets, we would approve it, and we've actually attended some graduations over there, and uh, I would see no reason, you know, if the money is available, that we would not give it to them. So then personnel benefits, purchase services, and so forth, we have a total of 993,500, 992,500. I guess I get to the next page on that, right? It must be. Yeah, 24, so I have 297, yeah, benefits, services, and so forth. So your operational costs or your administrative costs, including, you know, salaries, benefits, and purchase services, so forth is 993 dollars and then the, the second main component of course of your budget then is the actual veterans relief assistance <coughs> that's correct and that is and that's the, where you see that, the that's increase. the value of the dollars that we were talking about right. in, you know, in servicing those six thousand veterans right so that's eight hundred fifty thousand dollars and you've increased right. that from six thirty two in night in 2013 to to Basically, because we expect that because number. what you're saying, because you're saying your number is increasing. Right, we expect it to increase again. Mm -hmm. so, so that's the main item on this budget that has increased, and that's the reason. And did you pretty well expend that uh, 632 from last year? Oh, well, yes. Pretty well went through that. In fact, I think you have to shovel some money around to finish out the year. Is that correct, Diane? Yes, she's holding up some for uh, payment in 2004. Okay. <coughs> okay. And just off the numbers you had, that's really only about $100 per assist, so it's not a real high dollar volume. What are the other types of assistance? I just, again, kind of with Commissioner Burnaby and understanding that the services and the benefits. Well, we do th basically three different things. We've already talked about we help veterans file for VA benefits. And uh, um, we have service officers that do that. You have to be certified, take training, and be uh, graduate from classes and be tested to be certified to do that. Then uh, we provide transportation up to the 
a VA hospital required by law to do that. And that's the agreement we have with SARTA. And the other, th and the other thing is financial relief. We said that's in the form of food, mortgage assistance. And yeah, like food, housing, utilities. Now, do you take care of any burial assistance or benefits, or is that yes, VA that related also. as well? We do that also. Is it burials for families that don't have money? Widows. Pay up to $1,000. <coughs> so that brings us up to our total. Okay. And then the next page is your schedule of what? This is short employees. Anticipate hiring two people. That's correct. Okay, so the two would be what? The relief investigator? Yes. Both yeah. of them are going to be in that category. That's the starting position in our office. Okay, because that's the position that you left? Pardon? Is that the position that you left when you became executive director? No. Or I was, no? Well, you come in as a uh, relief investigator, okay. then you become a service officer. Okay. After you take the training, you have to be here a minimum of 18 months before you can take the test to do that. Okay. And then uh, assistant director, director. Okay. So on your <coughs> personnel sheet, a couple questions just so I remember. You have five appointed board members. And Mr. Kemp, is he already been reappointed or is he up for reappointment? He's up for reappointment. And when does that term start? Does January 15th. Oh. That's for all of them? They always start the 15th? Yes. Okay. And then my other question is, you have scheduled in 2%, but on my printout, I'm looking at, I'm looking at employees, um, Hurlis, Corby, Speakman, Ogden, and Sheets that got between 24 and 35 percent pay raises this year. Would there be a reason why they got such a large increase in 13? Yeah, 13. Our, our bottom rung employees have been getting really substandard pay. Okay. Um, so uh, they were giving uh, giving raises to bring them up to reasonable level. Um, we had employees, we have veterans come into us for financial help that were getting more money than our employees were here. Um, so it was really uh, pretty clean. So the bottom rung employees were getting a raise. Or some of those people also moved up in positions. They went from Relief investigator to service officer. Uh, Speakman and her was both moved up in that regard. But over the years, they have gotten five percent pay raises when other county employees got none. Is that a correct statement? Um, when we put five percent in the budget, the board usually uh, approved to two to three percent. So, given the fact that they their their raises were substantial last year, right? And I guess I would direct this to board members that the two percent is what will be fair this year for the employees. Is that a correct statement? Are you addressing me? I think she was asking the yeah. board members. Oh, we, have, we lost one board member. Okay. He went upstairs. Yeah. She wants to know if that's fair. I would say so, yes. It's a little low. And then my other question is that when Mr. Toth retired, he was making $100,000 a year. So now, Mr. Ickes, you are in at $47,000 a year. Is the board going to up his salary to $100,000 like Mr. Toth received? No. 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 And his, uh, his pay uh, increase will be 2% as well? No, I'm going to receive an increase. 
due to my move up in position. And so where is that reflected? Show me where that is reflected. It doesn't actually show in here, does it? And how much? Two percent. Oh, and they've already told you you're going to get an increase? Yes. And since this is taxpayers' dollars, I have to ask how much that is. Okay. Uh, I'm going to be getting 55000 for a probationary period. Okay. And once I'm out of the probationary period, that will go to 60000 And how long is your probationary period? Just 90 days. 90 days. Uh, and do understand, I always make this statement, I support veterans. My husband is a Vietnam veteran. I want the veterans to have the money, but these are taxpayers' dollars that are being spent, sure. and someone has to ask the questions. And if I don't ask the questions, or my colleagues don't ask the questions, then shame on us for not asking. Oh. But it's very, very important that we have a clear understanding as to where the salaries go, because quite frankly, there are other people in our county that don't make the salaries that your employees make. So I need to be fair to all. Understandable. Are there is there anything else on the personnel schedule that we're looking at? You know, again, your number was not indicated. Are there any other raises contemplated for anybody or you know, raises or adjustments Tim, that Tim aren't, that aren't otherwise indicated? Tim Corby will become an assistant director, so he will be getting the raises. So Tim Corby, and this shows that he's making thirty. For 170, yes. He will be. That's 2014. Yeah. Okay. Right now it shows he's making 33,500 in 2013. Right. This shows, I guess, with the two percent increase, he would go to 34 170. But is he getting an additional bump by virtue of becoming the uh, assistant executive director? He's he's and going. What's to happening to him then? He's going to be given 5,000 for his probationary period and then another 5,000 increase once the probationary period is over. So is that 5,000 by the way over the 30 over the 2013 number or the 2014 number? That's probably over the 2013 number right? Yes. Yeah. Plus the two percent on top of that? I, yeah, I don't know if it's normal. They might not do that. <laughs> he's, he's just being raised in position. So he's getting five thousand, did you say, for his probationary? Sorry, no. An additional five thousand for his probationary period, then another five thousand once that's over. So he'll basically get a ten thousand dollar total. So he would go Two to left. forty. So he would go to forty three five. On the um, personal services sheet, I'm at. You know, with the the timing change, we've got the. Um, Estimated salary expense at 496. At the bottom of just there, totaling up that oh, column. Okay. On the in the actual budget, there's 539 in for salaries. Is that to be reflective of the increases that we've discussed? That that 40,000 is that to is that to reflect then these other increases, or is there something else that's no that. That is uh, that's included in the two vacancies. So, out of the forty-five thousand living veterans in Stark County, is it correct to say that about sixty-six hundred were served? Right. Is that a correct? Okay. Well, that's or their widows, veterans, or their widows or dependents. <clears throat> so it's not kind of the same. Picking up dependents and widows yeah. that aren't counted as part of that. That's, so that actually, the number is actually higher. And do you think that others don't come forward because they don't know about the Veterans Service Commission, they don't need the Veterans Service Commission, or they don't know how to access the Veterans Service Commission? Probably all three. Okay. So what are we so doing to let I've, people know? Well, that's one reason we have the bus route. Okay. okay. We always we always have. Outreach, we go to different organizations and, and, and make talks and things like this. Uh, we go around to the whole nursing home in the county and visit them on an annual basis. Uh, a lot of times, uh, that's where your veterans and your widows, uh, they always check to see if the people there, uh, they are many, um, are widows or, or veterans because uh, they might be able to benefit from VA, they'll help to pay their bills on the nursing home. 
So we get a lot of referrals from there. We get referrals from DA. We go closely with the DA outpatient clinic. <coughs> uh, we also, you know, talk to the funeral homes on a regular basis um, for death benefits. Uh, they refer people back to us. Uh, they come to us for documentation to prove that the person is a veteran. Does everybody get a death benefit that's a veteran? No. Well, all veterans are entitled to like an emergency bike with the casket. And they get a bronze marker for the tombstone. Not all veterans are entitled to a cash benefit. That depends yeah. on your income. It depends on if they were uh, service connected, have a service connected disability, or if they're getting money for a, a non service connected pension from the VA, then they would be able to do a cash step benefit. Also, it would be able to go to the National Cemetery. If I rent my I'll be buried up there. Um, just as a side note, are you aware of the new program that Ohio Means Jobs and the <coughs> Workforce Transformation uh, Committee that the governor has uh, appointed? That there is now a component for veterans that that are that our mission is to get veterans involved. Have you at your at your state association heard about this? Has anyone come forward and talked to you? Well, of course, people that come in, veterans that come into us for relief, it's a requirement that they have to be looking for work, okay, if they're already employed, if it hasn't been, you know, just another emergency. So we, we work closely with uh, Department of Job and Family Services down there. We refer them down there. Um, they have to show us that they are actively looking for work. But Ohio means jobs is the component of the employment source. I'm on the governor's workforce transformation board. The governor signed an executive order that now says that if a veteran comes back home, or even if it's a, a veteran from the past, and let's say he has, I'm going to pick on Tom because he's a Vietnam veteran, that maybe he had an experience as a um, mechanic and that he had overwhelming, you know, certificates, he, he had qualified, that, that that is part of the component that if he goes to get a job, he scores higher or he can get into college maybe with some additional um, uh, credits. I mean, I, I guess I just we, want to know from you if, if, if you, have you we, gone to your state conference yet this year? We, we go to training twice a year. But, but don't you go to one in January? No? No. Okay. No. I will be very interested to know when you come back. And, um, and we are aware that, you know, they're, you know, trying to take uh, licenses like, you know, if you're a mechanic in the military yes. or a truck driver, something like this, make it easier for you to get licenses. Correct. And there's, it's, but you know about that executive order. Do you know about that executive order? I'm not getting the, okay. Not That's what I needed to know. Thank you. Am I eligible for additional votes if I run for public office? <sighs> <laughs> yes, you are. Okay. No, I just want to make sure that workforce transformation is getting you that information because that's important. I mean, that's what we deal with sure. and that you need to know that in the Veterans Service Commission. That's not your fault. I'm just trying to right. ferret that out. Thank you. Anything additional that you want to tell us about? your budget about 2014 or otherwise your operations? I think we pretty well covered it. Any uh, gentlemen, uh, board members? I feel we submitted a, a pretty good budget and one within what we can live with as well as fair to the county as the money we're asking for and uh, We just feel, we never know though what might happen if we have an influx of uh, veterans that need help. We'll be there to help them. And that's our mission. And we will do that's that. Right. And then we have to come back. And then we want you to tell the people what your mission yep. is. So they don't come to you for our house. Yeah. No, we, if there's nothing else, we thank you thank very you. much.